G'day folks, welcome to a Weather IQ weather update looking at South East Queensland, North East New South Wales storm day and evening today, the 1st of November, thanks to our major sponsor townsvilleshedz.com. All right, what have we got already? We've already got some storm activity developing uh, through the northern New South Wales ranges and up into South East Queensland's hinterland. Got a little storm off the sunshine or just inland of the Sunshine Coast as well. Pretty early start, this is only midday. We're expecting the initialisation of storms and we're already seeing the initialisation of the strongest storm south of the border, but we're just going to start to see over the next couple of hours some initialisation of really strong storms across the southeast interior. And you can see that reflected here in the uh, forecast rainfall and uh, lightning charts here that I'm showing you, and also in the thunderstorm lightning flash densities, thanks to the European model, thanks to windy.com. So you can see these purple areas are areas where we're susceptible to the strongest storms. And you'll notice there, one of the things that we are seeing are that the strongest storms are likely to be just inland of the coastline today, but the steering winds will be driving those really intense storms towards the coast. And you'll notice our weak tropical cyclone winds, which are also our steering winds for strong thunderstorms, uh, show a very sharp increase in the wind regime this afternoon and into this evening across southeast Queensland, driving those powerful storms or whatever's left of them towards the coastline. Right, so we can see a couple of individual cells close to the southeast corner. This is a forecast radar, so it's a simulation of what could happen or what the model thinks could happen as the day goes on. Now, these storms that begin to become quite powerful across the interior parts of southeast Queensland, these are the ones particularly in the Toowoomba region that we're particularly interested in and potentially just to the north of that point and just to the south of that point down towards northern New South Wales. So these early ones close to the coast pushing offshore and then it's these big ones that develop through the mid to later parts of the afternoon that push towards the coast. They're the ones that we're most concerned about. As I say, the strongest dynamics for storm development are inland of the coast today, not on the coast, but the powerful steering winds are going to try and pull those storms towards or push those storms towards the coastline. You can see as we go into the back end of the afternoon, those storms sort of forming into a bit of a messy line. And that's our best bet here, is that we get a bit of a messy line of convection. And if that messy line of convection starts to encounter some conditions that aren't quite as favourable on the coast, we might get more of a thundery rain type set up towards the end of the evening instead of discrete individual thunderstorms. For those spots in the northern part of this area, uh, that's the area that we're particularly interested in when it comes to when this line forms. It's this northern zone that becomes the most dangerous. And you can see that here as, it, as we push through the afternoon into the evening. That's the area that has the most colour on the chart. Anything in the purple, white and grey tends to show hail potential. So you can see these are the ones with the biggest hail potential. So thundery rainy mess towards the back end of the evening or towards the back end of the afternoon. Hopefully, fingers crossed, that happens. And then we see the more discreet and significant storm cells in the Sunshine Coast, Wide Bay, Burnett, hinterland areas. Uh, and that's the expectation there. And then in behind the thundery rainy mess, there's still enough instability residually to see some storm activity redeveloping on the back side of that line. And that storm activity could also be quite sharp and strong into the evening hours before it breaks up into a bit of a chunky rain mess. The Bureau of Meteorology are uh, identifying a destructive wind threat with the thunderstorms across southeast inland Queensland in the next couple of hours and then pushing towards the coast uh, between 2 and 5 p.m. And you can see that uh, destructive wind field or wind potential in thunderstorms shown by this purple area. Generally, the blue area shows uh, storms that have the potential for flash flood risk as well. And embedded in that also is hail risk, which you just can't see, but it's this little area in here with some pretty significant hail risk as well. The thing that sets this storm day apart from most storm days in southeast Queensland is we have an extreme amount of rotation in the atmosphere in and around the border areas of the state and down around the southeast inland parts of the state. Not so much on the coast, but just inland of the coast is where we see some extreme areas of rotation. And that's where you would have been hearing some stuff about tornado potential today. And you can see our tornado potential, let me take a look at our one kilometre storm relative velocity values. They're pretty high, but they're pretty high inland. Notice that on the coast, not quite as high, right? So they do get a little bit higher towards the coast at the back end of the afternoon. But remember, by that stage, we do expect to see a bit of a thundery, rainy mess 
um, especially in northern New South Wales and the uh, southern parts of coastal southeast Queensland. But notice that the uh, that the rotation potential remains very high into the latter parts of the afternoon into the evening in the northern section of that area, right? And you can see how that rotational potential increases as we get into the evening hours, especially inland of the coast. So that's why the T word's been bandied around in a lot of social media posts. And I think even the Bureau themselves mentioned the T word. Watch out for rapidly evolving situations. These early storms here can become very, very strong very quickly in this extremely unstable setup. And then watch for rain areas and thunderstorms developing later in the afternoon and evening. And then the northern side of that rain area and storm activity potentially uh, being the most uh, dynamic and most intense. Have a wonderful day. Remember, if you want more details, you want to know stuff ahead of time, head over to our weatheriq.com.au slash sign up and sign up to our subscription service. And make sure that you subscribe to our YouTube channel to know when we're releasing free updates to the public. Take care, stay safe, talk tomorrow.